you've been reading the books I gave you? Yes. So, what's on your mind? Look, you could at least consider it. You told me you were in trouble, you needed some money. He's feeling lucky. Hey, Vince, he's feeling lucky. <laughs> and this is gonna get me out of my trouble. This is what I'm considering. He is coming! You have called him and he is coming! Oh my god, that's me. What do all these symbols mean? Do you want me to show you more? No, it's from me! It's from in here! This is no playground stuff! You don't understand yet what you're dealing with. He is coming because of your actions! You can have anything you desire, but just asking is not enough. Show me that you understand. Coming. You know, they say that place is haunted. Like the Phantom of the Opera, only for real. We should fit right in there, don't you think? This is dark, sticky, vampire fun! Hit it! Good evening, everybody. How are we doing out there? Are we good, everybody? Are we good? That is good. Ron Fitzgerald here, Master of the Dark Realm, which means for those of you, if we haven't met yet, I'm an actor and a gothic illusionist, and I create dark, sticky fun for you guys. You're welcome. And tonight, lots of dark, sticky fun on the show. Uh, it, it was just Valentine's Day, uh, you know, not long ago, days ago, in fact. So I decided we, we, we needed a nice gothic romance show. Are you having a nice gothic romance out there? I'm waiting for my co-host to show up here. Miss Melly Monster will be in in a moment. Let me see if I can uh, see. You can, oh, you can look at the top of my head. All right. Yes. All right. Uh, see her in here yet. And uh, we've got tons of dark sticky fun i've got some illusions they are tonight they're big things so they are pre-recorded that were whirled in for you one of them is my appearance on um on television and uh we're going to do uh my top six gothic romance films of all time so i have a top six list it should be 666 but we'd be here till next tuesday or beyond probably a long 
I don't know. I haven't, I haven't done the math on how, how long it would take the average trailer to run a 666 of them till next Tuesday. Maybe at least that much longer. So uh, you can go down, check in in the chat. I'll see if I can see them. Where are we at with the chat? Chat, come on, chat. Oh, I've got, yes, we got you guys in there. All right, hang on a minute. I will be checking these uh, myself. So I'm going to ditch out of the camera for a moment and see if I can see you guys. All right. I see Shelby. Hello, Shelby. I see uh, Alec, uh, Alexandra. Alexandra. Hello. I see uh, Willow. Hello. Ah, there he is. Okay, there's uh, one of our birthday people. The birthday boy is in there. Martin, hello. Uh, Francie Weatherman is in the house. Who has her own show? Uh, hello, we've got Heather in there. Uh, we've got uh, Sherry. Hello, Sherry. Ah, Sherry Frey. Sherry. Ray has actually, we've, we've done some photos. You've seen some of them go through my social and everything. So, hello. Hello, hello, hello. So, how's everybody doing tonight? Are we having fun? Are you ready for some gothic romance? I'm sure there will be kink and blood involved. So, you're welcome once again. All right. I'm wearing my kind of nice purpley bats and skulls for you tonight because I thought that would be good. Can't see a whole lot of it because I'm close up in the camera. I'm running the whole show. Uh myself for the most part um miss melly monster will join me in studio shortly she was still getting uh getting herself gussied up for the occasion so uh she'll be in here shortly i hope you guys are having a good night and have had an, an excellent week if anybody's out there if you have power and you're and you're checking in uh from texas first off thank you i hope you're safe I hope you're warm I hope you're boiling your water do what else you have to do uh much love and uh gothic horror power and mojo to all my friends in texas down there because they have had a shit week it has not been good for those guys down there and uh i'm really sorry you know while your legislature heads off to cancun and you get uh get stuck with the natural disaster uh that they weren't really prepared for so um, but I, I hope everybody's, uh, if anybody's checking in, if any of you guys are in Texas or you have family and friends in Texas, um, you know, uh, more power to you and stay safe and, um, and power through it. Uh, it's been particularly bad for you guys in the South. I mean, they just, you know, I, uh, the bat cave where I'm coming from is deep underneath, uh, the bowels of Chicago and we're used to winters like that and we have equipment for it and everything, but, but down in the South, they really don't. Uh, and uh, they're not they're not used to that. It's not supposed to do that down there. It's supposed to be very nice. I've been down in, in you know, de I, like I did a college show with some shows down there one time in Texas and it was late in the year. It was in uh, December and I was down in Laredo, Texas, which is right down on the, uh, the Mexico border. And it was like 75, 80 and, you know, well into um, uh, December that, that year I was there. It was, you know, uh, quite a few years ago. But, you know. Uh, they don't they're not supposed to get winners like we get up, up here in the north. So, uh, again, more power to you guys out there. Uh, birthday announcements. Uh, Shay from Shay's Beauty on YouTube. My friend Shay. It's her birthday. I don't know. If, I didn't see if you checked in yet, Shay, but I think Shay is in here. Uh, I saw um, uh, a punk monk number one. Uh, 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 Mr. Happy Skullhead. Oh, my God. I think it's Marty. He's in here. It's his birthday, too. And he's like, what? 50,000 years old? Some He's like some insanely, he's like older than old. He is ancient and wise. And that, yes, you're welcome. <laughs> so it was his birthday uh, yesterday as well. So happy birthday. Do we have another one? I thought there was another birthday too. I think there's another one. Uh, it, it'll, it'll come to me or you can remind me in the chat. I'm going to take another look in the chat here so you can look at the lovely top of my head. I should feel I should tattoo it for you so there's something up there for you to look at <laughs> all right uh hello 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 nick hello you got nick in the house uh, i see ah uh, 
Okay, Alex, I see. I see more Nick. I see Francie Weatherman. And I see you again, Martin. Oh, you're very welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. Uh, all right. So um, right now, while I check on the status of things, oh, here it is. Good. It's good to know where that's at. Uh, I am going to uh, play you uh, a quick bit of um, bit of video. This uh, fun little bit. Oh, now I got to go back into it. Come here, video. Okay. Good. Yeah. Ah, yes. All right. Check out um, this uh, this little intro that I made. That uh, I think will amuse you. And and again, uh, a little uh, a little. Hello from our friends at House Made of Dawn, and I think you'll recognize the tune. Uh, so let's start. Come here. Oh, man. All right. I got to make sure I'm clicking on the right thing. So here we go. Um, here's the, let's open up with this little show reel. Ah, yeah, new intro, a little uh, Scary Monsters cover from House Made of Dawn. We had Alpha on last time in an interview. Oh, yeah, there's the mug. Get one for yourself. Link will be in the bio. All right, um, let me know if you're watching on uh, YouTube or the Evil Book of Face. All right, and uh, did you like the new intro? You like that? I'll play it again for you at the end of the show. Ah. Thrilled to see anything all spinny and crazy like that. It's um, it's rather Tim Putney, isn't it? Yes, very fun. Oh wait a minute, hang on. I'm getting a, I'm getting a communique from my my naughty co-host. Ah, excellent. Ah, uh, where are you? I said you're there. Oh yes, she is there. Look at that. Don't you love it when crap works, people? Don't you love it when technology actually works? Actually, I'm thrilled that during these weird, weird times that we are in, that we have this technology. Uh, lean into it, beat it, make money shoot out of its butt for you. You know, it's uh, it, it's our friend. Let's, <laughs> it's all good. All right, come here. Coming in right now. Here is. Hi. All right. You need, I need a configuration. Can I get a sign? Yes. Wow, it worked. Missed. Melee Monster. Hi. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> can you hear me okay? Mm -hmm. I can hear you just fine. Excellent. Hi, everybody. Say hello to Miss Melee Monster. How are you tonight? I knew you were rushing home to get your face on. I was doing the same thing. In fact, while the, while the countdown to the show was playing, I was still putting on my makeup. Yeah. I fine. was at the gym. I was at the gym and stuff like all day because I haven't gone for the last couple of days because the weather and everything. So, yeah. so I was hanging out with with my friend Annette and everything, and um, so I needed to take a nap, and I didn't get to take a nap because everybody everybody kept waking me up. <laughs> I went like, well, that went out the door. <laughs> mm -hmm. huh? Yes. They yeah. Kept, so they kept bugging. They kept bugging. Yeah. So mm -hmm. very naughty. How are you doing tonight? Are you ready for some gothic romance? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Nice kitty kitty. All right. <laughs> well, this will be this will be fun. It will be fun. You want to take a look in the chat and see what we've got in there? Can you find them? It's uh, over on the right hand side, uh, the top one. Okay, I see it. Oh, wow. Yeah, we, we have a lot. There's a ton of them in there. Let's see. Uh, read me what people are saying. Let's it's see. Alex Raven. I am here now. We can start. LOL. Shelby. Hey, Ron. Willow. 
All good here. Good. Jamie Dunn, good Jamie. evening to yeah. you. Excellent. Hello. Hello, hello. Uh, Alex Panter, Punk Monk says hi. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, it was his birthday yesterday. Yeah, that's right. Happy mm -hmm. birthday, Marty. Yes. I think you tried calling me too earlier. I'm sorry. I missed your call. Um, let's see. Nick. Hi, Ron. Long time no see. Nick. Hello. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Alex Raven. Yes, yes. Anything else? Everybody, everybody in there checking in? Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of people. There are. Them. I, I tried Sistonia? to pimp it out really good just before we went off. Who? And Margoth says hi. Hey, you're here. You're all right. I hope I hope you're feeling better. He was he was a little under the weather and he is uh, sequestered in his own bat cave tonight. And um, I talked to Mrs. Morgoth. She was running out to get him some some uh, some blood and sustenance. Wow. Uh, uh. Good. So thank you for checking in. Uh, how do I look? Miss how do we you, look out there? Miss you, miss you, uh, Morgoth and Kate. Yes, they miss you too. We'll hang out with them. We'll hang out with them. We'll go bother them, but they can come bother us. It'll be good. It'll be fabulous. Who else is in there? Anything else we need to read? Alex Raven says, yes, Shelby, call back or to cable. Uh, uh, oh, she made a call back to the cable show? I didn't see it. I don't think we saw that. Something. Yes. Oh, uh, I think she's talking about uh, Marty himself. Yes, he is punk number one. He is on some of the old uh, cable TV shows, Fitzgerald's Realm, which is on a playlist on my YouTube channel. So, Hi, Shelby. Hi. Yeah. Hello, Shelby. Shelby is awesome. She's working Marga on the says, Marga says your guy's looking great. Good, thank you. I've got I've got one of the uh, soft boxes up here and uh, I, I changed the lighting a little bit. Annie Smith says you're both looking good. Thank you. Thank you, Annie. You are awesome. Annie, everybody say hi to Annie because she is freaking amazing. She's awesome, she's very sweet, and she's always sharing the hell out of my side and other people. She she supports um, the spooky arts people. So Thank you, my dear, for being in here with us. It's, it's it's always a pleasure. Thank you so much. And thank you for all your help on uh, pumping everything out there and all the shares and everything. I really, really, really can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Thank you. What else? We got anything else in there? I hear dead air, <laughs> which is not good in the media business. What do we got? Are you reading? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, um, I hear you breathing. You're awfully quiet see. over there. I gotta go back on some of it. Ah, okay. I thought I had to hear that little button that electrocutes you in your seat to bring you back to life or something. Heather says hello. Hello, Heather. Yeah, I saw Heather. Cherie. Uh, Cherie. Cherie says, uh, Cherie, hi, Ron. It's been a long time. It has been a while. Yeah, uh, Cher is uh, a musician and an awesome photographer, and I have shot some photos with her that you guys have seen go through my uh, my social and everything. Very nice. It's if that, I'm glad you showed up. Thank you. I hope you are well in all of these weird times and everything is is doing great. Um, yeah. Oh, my old friend Sia is in here too. Hi, Sia. Sia. Um, no. Uh, try. Annie Smith says, you're welcome. I appreciate you also. Thank you. Thank you. You you are lovely. You you are an awesome human being, woman. You are. Thank you. I'm, try I'm trying not to skip anybody. I'm trying to, like, get everybody. No, I know. And, and it's hard because they keep, as, you know, people are coming in on the back end, and then they're shoving all they, they keep moving. So it's hard to keep up with them. But we're going to go, yeah. we're going to go to, like, our first, um, our first roll in here in a minute. Uno okay. momento, por favor. Anything else we need to get to in the chat before we go? I don't see anything. Oh, uh, Shelby said a nice call back to the cable show using Scary Monsters. Oh, yes. Thank you. I didn't see that part. So, yeah. I'll, I'll play it for you again. She said, she said sick intro. <laughs> oh, thank you. 
I, yeah, I, I, I was, I was really, I was very uh, happy with myself that I was able to make that damn thing. And, uh, and it worked. <laughs> so uh, with a minimal amount of, 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 you know, grinding on the technology and beating it with a ball peen hammer, I was able to, um, to get it to spit out something. Cool. So thank you. And the music again, uh, House Made of Dawn. We'll be talking about House Made of Dawn later. Um, they'll probably show up somewhere in here in the chat. They're usually lurking somewhere nearby uh, since we work together a lot. And um, that that was a, a request of, of me, of, of uh, HMOD, to do a cover of uh, a Bowie of Scary Monsters because, you know, it is a nice callback yeah, yeah. to the show. And it and it's a yeah, nice update of it because he did he did a really great version of it. So I I'm really I'm really geeked about it. And I believe that will be on I'm pretty sure that will be on the new album that I am I'm working on parts of it with him that we teased when I did the interview with him on the last one. If you haven't seen that, that is on uh the, the last um uh big uh live stream and and it's in it's in a whole um playlist of live streams on my YouTube channel. Once again, if you're on the YouTube channel, if you haven't yet please subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications and like the video and comment, but basically like it because it gives a stinky pinky to the, wait, here we go, stinky pinky, to the algorithm and the algorithm's kinky like that. So you've got to get its attention. What better way to get the algorithm's attention than with a stinky pinky? So hit the little like stinky pinky and that will send us out into the YouTuber, YouTubeverse even more. <laughs> <laughs> does that make any sense? I hope it does. She's just excited because okay. I mentioned stinky pinkies. I don't know why. I have no idea why. You have a, a question here. It's by Willow. What is your Willow. favorite shop to go to for your outfits? Uh, the Crafty Mistress. You can find her on the Evil Book of Face. Uh, she hasn't been. She hasn't been making a lot. She's. She's. She's a little. She's been kind of out for the pandemic because. She, her life went through a massive change about a year ago and she's still kind of riding the waves of that and then COVID hit and, and so she, she has been making mainly stuff for herself. But this fine thing, I wish I could show you, I'll have to, I wish I had more pictures loaded in, but she custom makes, a, a lot of my wardrobe is custom made. And then I source it out from some other cool places like uh, Shrine of Hollywood, awesome. Shrine of Hollywood, highly recommended. Um, even, uh, our, our awesome friend, Aurelio Voltaire loves some, uh, some shrine of Hollywood. They're beautiful Gothic stuff out there. Uh, you can find them online. You can find them. They have a really nice Instagram. You can see all of their fashions. So, uh, places like that. And then I, then I kind of, you know, hunt and peck around, but a lot of it is custom made and most of it is by the crafty mistress because she is freaking, she is my one woman art department. She is amazingly talented. She makes props for me. She's done art artwork for me. The the, the cover, the, the artwork uh, that's based on on Jim Swerfleet's awesome photography, but the the black and white artwork that's on the um, the dark realm uh, t-shirts and hoodies and everything, she did that. So she's a great artist. And then she does work with fabric that is just out of this world. I mean, this whole thing is like kind of based on. It's got kind of got a nice uh, purple and bats and skulls and. Doctor Strange look, and she came in with this thing and, and showed me the fabric and said, "I'm going to make you something out of this." And I said, "Let's go," you know. So, mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of it is custom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's amazing. Crafting mistress is. She is, isn't she? She's freaking awesome. Sometimes she, uh, she, uh, she and John are, are showing up in here as well. They might be. I, I told them about it. They knew we were going to be live tonight. So, and then thank you, the giant thank you, and. Love and mojo to the crafty mistress for all of the all of the awesome help and the the great threads. Because I get asked that a lot as where I where I shop, and it's like this is not an off the rack kind of guy. So there you go. <laughs> there you go. So shall we get in? Are you guys out there ready to see uh, our first? Uh, it's actually our first illusion. I'm going to open up with a little bit of uh, a little bit of gothic illusion for our gothic romance show, and it's appropriately themed. So uh, let me know in the chat if you are ready for a little uh, gothic romance out there. Oh, and, and also I wanted to let you know, too, as you're doing that, there will be, a, as usual, a giveaway. I feel, uh, I feel like it's fun to give you guys bribo for uh, come in prizes and, and fun stuff for showing up and checking everything out. I like to make sure that you guys are getting rewarded with some cool little you know, merch and, and fun stuff. And today, uh, at the end of the show, I'll be doing this, so stick around through the show. Um, 
this right here is a uh, it's a download card, which I will actually photograph and I will scratch it and send it, send you the code so you get it quicker because trying to put some in the mail right now seems to be pretty hellaciously bad. Um, and that is, it's a, uh, a download card for the entire Dark Realm movie soundtrack, Realm by House Made of Dawn. Um, hang on a second and I'll show you what that looks like in a, in a, in a much better way. Come here. Where is this? All right, here we go. Come here. Uh, hi, where are we at? Ah, it looks like that. That is it. That is, um, hi, let me peek around the side. Hi, that is, peek. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that is, uh, Realm, the, uh, the, uh, music and soundtrack from, from Dark Realm. Now we have a lot of independent artists, but this is all the stuff done by House Made of Dawn because they did the majority of work on uh, song contributions and did the entire score for Dark Realm. There you go. And I'll be given the entire soundtrack, 17 tracks. If you want it, it's on Amazon. And I can put, I'll put the link in the description and everything as well for that. If you don't win it, you can go get one. It's only $9.99 for 17 tracks of music, of awesome music, by the way. So, there you go. So let me get back <laughs> down here. Hi, how are we doing? What? What are you I'm laughing at? I'm, I'm just being crazy. That's all. You're you know being me. crazy. Yeah. All right. You know me. Me. Yes, I, I do. You're so crazy. Anything else going on in the chat we need to check before we yes. go? Yes. 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 Um, um, let me go back a little bit or All go right. up, whatever. Uh, M. Willis, hi, Ron. Your visual effects guy is in the house. Oh, Mark. He said in, in the chat, in the chat, but I added in the Mark house. Mark worked <laughs> on uh, Dark Realm with us. Yeah, he's in the chat. <laughs> Thank you, Mark, for showing up. And he's super talented. If any of you out there, are working on visual projects and, and uh, movies and things, check Mark out. And uh, his awesome work is in Dark Realm. Like where you see the, the sword in there jammed to Lady India, he did that. He poked Lady India. He's, he's bad like that. He's very, very naughty. All right. But he did, he did things like that. He did, he did our, our visual effects in the movie. And oh, wow. um, yeah, he's very talented, very awesome. Thank you for being in here. It's good to see you. Did you see the trailer earlier on? I played the trailer for Dark Realm earlier. And remember that uh, the two movies I played the trailers to are sponsors uh, from the beginning of, of the uh, the live stream. Dark Realm, you can find on Amazon in the US and UK and many other territories right now. Link will be down below. Uh, you can just go search for it on the platforms as well. And the other one is uh, The Devil's Canvas made by Rob Sepulveda. And it's uh, high end, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a ritual magic set in the high end art world. Very cool. Uh, starring August Lissy, myself, and of course, Mr. Vinny, Vincent Belanchio. That's my other birthday I need. It's Mr. Vinny's birthday as well. So, a happy, happy birthday. birthday. Vinny. Very Hell good yeah. friend. Miss Mr. You. Vinny, Mr. Vinny in the middle of all, I don't think he's in there, but in the middle of all this, he slipped off to Florida because he thought it would be warm and nice down there. I, I, I think he's not getting exactly what he bargained for, but he did get away. His, his brother's got a nice condo down there. So, he, he snuck off for a little vacation time uh, to mark his, like, I don't know, what, six millionth birthday? He's, he's like, he's ancient and old and wise. So, happy birthday to Mr. Vinny. Yes. Yeah, and you guys should check him out. He's, he stars in a lot of cool indie horror films um, that he did, you know, even before uh, I knew him. His horror pedigree goes all the way back to Roger Corman's Sorority House Massacre in the 80s. So Mr. Vinny had been kicking ass and taking names in indie film and, and indie and horror for a long, long time. So check him out. Uh, and, he, and he's in there. And of course, he's in Dark Realm. You knew that. Uh, unless you're new, then you didn't know that. Now you know that. All right. So this, uh, what were you going to see here? Make sure I'm clicking on the right thing. Uh, this is uh, an appearance that I did. This is this is my most current appearance on um on wgn america wgn tv in chicago and they go across america on uh, on cable so we've been seen all over the place and, and and our friend darlene mistress of divine suffering has even watched it all the way from the hague in europe so that's pretty cool and uh well it's it, it we were on this is last time we were on was uh, halloween like about uh, like about a year ago and before everything got shut down and uh well it's uh got to do with uh, roses 
and uh, you'll see, well, I'll tell you more about it afterwards. Let's just let you watch it right now. So here's a little gothic romance on WGM America. We are putting the trick in your trick or treat with Ron Fitzgerald, Master of the Dark Realm. He has a show in Berwyn tonight. Take it away, Ron. There were roses on her grave, but she wasn't in it. Scary movies are always so stupid, isn't it? Oh. Hey, check out Ron Fitzgerald's Dark Realm tonight. Cigars and Stripes in Berwyn. Fitzgerald's Realm.com. Yes, I won't be appearing tonight in Berwyn. <laughs> Thankfully, that's not. That was at Cigars and Stripes. I don't know if uh, Ronnie from Cigars and Stripes is in here. But uh, if you've ever been to Cigars and Stripes in Berwyn, that's where we were that night. And um, it was an awesome show. It was an awesome time. And thank you again to Lady India. Everybody's always wondering when she's going to be back on the show. So there you go, because you can't have too much Lady India, right? That's what I'm saying. So wasn't that fun? That's a good thing. I don't know how many of you guys got to see it live or afterwards. It, it, it's also parked separately on the YouTube channel. If you want to look in the, the playlist of um, my television appearances, it's on there as well. And uh, it's fun. It's always interesting, the commentary from the anchors. I don't think they know quite what to say about me, but I loved it when Larry said, run kids, because that's kind of dead on. That's kind of right. <laughs> Don't you think? So what are they saying in the chat? Are they enjoying that? Yeah. That it, looks, it looks like it. Um, let's see. Um, Shelby said, hell yes. Willow says, I'm ready. All right. Heather says, ready. Sia says, I'm ready. Mm-hmm. Good. Um, Sia says, holy crap. <laughs> Lily, Lily says, hi there. Better late than never. Yeah. Kelly, Kelly put a black heart up. Hello, Kelly. Thank you. Uh, Stark, sticky love to you, too. And Ari says, hi, Ron. Hi, you made it. Thank you for coming and hanging with us tonight. You know, we've got these live streams going and we've been waiting for you to come join us. So because you yeah. love vampires and we know you do. She loves vampires. Mm -hmm. a lot. I know. Mm -hmm. so, thank you. Love. <laughs> All right. It's very good. Good to have you here. Thank you. Good, 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 good. Excellent. What else going on in the chat? Anything else? 
Uh, Morgoth says, always fun to see you in India perform. Oh, and you, because that is, that is our, that is Morgoth in the robe helping me out in there. So uh, a nice round of applause for Morgoth in the comments, because he's actually in here watching. I think I told you I was going to run that. And, uh, uh, but I, yeah, I love it. We look, we look good out there doing our thing. And of course, you know, when India pops out, then, you know, it's showtime. She looks good in her yeah. fangs. Yeah, I like her in the fangs. Yeah, she's she got looks her fangs good. And context super, going and everything. Yeah. She is. Yes, she is very talented. She's, and she's a red hot mama. She is. That she is. That she is. Oh, get your rel mugs now. Wait, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, shall we go on? Are you guys ready to do the um, uh, the big uh, gothic romance movie countdown? Let me know if you're ready for that. Down in the chat. And we'll William Wyman says hi, Ron. Who, who says hi? William Wyman. Oh, William. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. How, how, how are you doing? How are you doing? Thank you for joining us. Francesca says fun. Francesca. Oh, Francesca. sorry. Francie Weatherman. Yes. How are you, Francie? How are you doing out there? Annie put something, but I can't, I can't see what it is. Okay. William, I'm sorry. Willow says ready when you are. Awesome. Thank you, Will. And thank you for joining us again. Ariana uh, Cherry said thanks for posting our podcast show. Oh, thank you for sending me the whole freaking file. You you are awesome. Uh, Ariana uh, had me on her um, uh, Spoken Word and Poetry podcast. You can find the entire episode on my interviews playlist on the YouTube channel. And, you, and you'll and you find it. There's a link to uh, listen to other shows. She's on iTunes and everything. So if you have an iPhone, go in there and add her. Go subscribe to her podcast. Uh, if that is your cup of tea or, you know, hemlock, whatever it might be, uh, you'll, you'll really enjoy her spoken word and poetry podcast. She's an excellent writer and performer of spoken word and stories and poetry. And Ariana is a lovely, lovely human being. So go subscribe to her podcast and check that out but thank you again ariana you can you can hear uh our whole episode we did together she had me on uh last month in january you know um yeah. different if you're watching this in the replay but it, it was on uh uh previously in january in january of uh 2021 and uh it was really interesting because we talked about the kind of spells and incantations and rhymes and poetry uh, that I use to introduce the illusions and about the music itself, getting back into, you know, House Made of Dawn and, and, and Voltaire and, and Bowie and, and Manson and all the cool music that uh, is in my stage performances and uh, and the cool stuff that's in, uh, in Dark Realm as well. So thank you. It was really, it was good and it was fun to explore, you know, my, you know, dark art from that angle because a lot of people aren't exactly talking to me about that, but you, that's your gig. So thank you, Ariana. It was it, it, very awesome. And thank you again for having me on. We'll do it again sometime. And William Wyman says, doing great. Let's get the party started. Yes. All right. Then here we go. So uh, the top six gothic horror, or go I'm sorry, gothic word. <laughs> I've got horror on my brain. Uh, gothic romance uh, movies. And these are kind of more pop culture. I didn't dive uh, in. in you know, into the real underground stuff. Maybe that will be a whole other, a whole other list of, of more underground indie horror, uh, gothic romance. But these, these are some that are certainly recognizable to all of us who love dark sticky fun. Uh, so coming in at number one is a period piece. It is uh, so a really fine example of gothic horror, beautiful cinematography, and an awesome uh, ghost story and a new young supple bride. Here we go with number one.
ghosts are real. I've seen them all my life. Ghosts? I never imagined that's what you wrote about. It's, um, rather good, don't you think? Really? You see, where I come from, ghosts are not to be taken lightly. I understand your fascination with the Sharps. Edith, this is my sister. But proceed with caution. I feel as if a, a link exists between your heart and mine. How do you manage this house? It's a privilege you were born into, and one we can never relinquish. Would you mind getting me a copy of the house keys, please? You don't need one. There are parts of the house that are unsafe. And these rotting walls in the dark. There are secrets everywhere. Thomas! Has anyone died in this house? If you're here with me, give me a signal. Specific deaths. Violent deaths. A house as old as this one becomes, in time, a living thing. It starts holding on to things. Some of them good. Some are bad. Some should never be spoken about again. What is it? What do you want? So there you go. Coming in at number six for our first selection is Crimson Peak. Wonderful gothic vibe, gothic romance, just flat up, you know, straight up gothic horror. Uh, what do you think, Miss Melly Monster? I love that movie. Yeah, it's very nice. It's kind of underrated. Now, I, you know, I don't know how many people really um, know of it. It almost, it almost uh, caught me by surprise. It came out in 2015. Isn't his name Tom? Hedleton or something like that. Is that is that Tom Hedleton in that? Um, yeah. I, should, uh, I have to look it up again. It might be Tom. Yeah, but it's got a, it's, it's lush and it's gorgeous and it's got a, a just a, a really beautiful vibe. Yeah, to it is. It's awesome. Yeah, it's very mm -hmm. sexy. Have fun with sexy. Yeah, yeah when you got yeah, it's a sexy zone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what do you, what do you guys like that one out there? Do you like my number six slot? Do you like that selection? Let's see. Rika's going to move on to number five right now. Uh, I had a hard time actually ranking these. That my, the, when we when we get to the top one, that was pretty easy for me, actually. But a lot of these, uh, they're, they're just all favorites. So kind of trying to rank them was was really kind of difficult because I, I, I love all of these movies. And, there, and there's more. There's others that could be honorable mentions. And, and, and when we get through, think about, you know, once you see the whole list, if you've got anything that, that you would have put on there, some of your favorites that, may, that maybe I didn't think about, it, uh, um, I'd love to hear that later. So think about that. Uh, and, and you'll have a chance uh, to tell us all after this is done. But let's move on to the second one. I had to put this in here. Uh, it is the quintessential goth couple. It's kind of the goth couple archetype. And, uh, well, you'll see what I'm talking about right now. When we first met years ago, it was an evening much like this. Magic in the air. A boy. A girl. An open grave. You were so beautiful, pale and mysterious. No one even looked at the corpse. Ah, miss! Wednesday, play with your food. Is this made from real lemons? Yes. I'll buy a cup if you buy a box of my delicious Girl Scout cookies. Are they made from real Girl Scouts? <laughs> Dang, you're a handful. Done this before. This holiday season, they'll make you feel right at home. Last night, you're like some desperate howling demon. 
You frightened me. Do it again. The Adams Family. Sorry, but you'll have to wait until November 22nd. Oh, hi. No, you won't have to wait till the 22nd. You can watch that right now. I'm trying to make sure I've got everything. There we are. Hi. Okay. So, The Adams Family. Uh, it's the uh, quintessential, you know, goth couple. You know, don't you think? Oh, yeah. That family monster? I love yep. that. No one yeah. even looked at the corpse. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lovely. Mm -hmm. It's one of my yes. favorites. That it is. It is always a favorite. And um, the uh, um, Morticia Adams, because the Adams family comes from a comic strip by Charles Adams. And Morticia Adams, that wonderful, iconic, gothic look that she has, was then uh, was adopted by the very first horror hostess, which was Vampira in the 50s. And uh, then uh, Carolyn Jones first played her on the uh, 60s uh, television, uh, you know, sitcom, The Addams Family. And Carolyn Jones, she was another gorgeous woman. And then later, that, that same look was adopted by, you know, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. And that's why they all look very similar. They're all based on the character of Morticia Adams. And, uh, yeah. So when I wear stripes, I feel more like Gomez. But... Right? <laughs> yes. I think the, I think that's why all the stripey stuff is is uh, so popular with uh, goth culture. What do you guys think out there? Do you like the uh, countdown so far? I like it. Let's I see. like it. I like it a lot. All right. So that was number five. Coming in at number four. Are you ready for number four? Give me a four in the chat. Yes. 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 Let's see. Yeah. I don't see no four yet. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay, no fours yet. They'll be there. Here we go with number four in the Gothic Romance Movie Countdown. No, that's not what I want. We've played that one. I want, uh, sorry, yeah, here. Sorry, we're going back to number number six. Here's number four. Constable Ichabod Crane, sent from New York to investigate murder in Sleepy Hollow. How much of your superiors explained to you? Only that the three were slain in open ground, their heads severed from their bodies. Taken by the headless horseman, taken back to hell. He rode a giant black steed to look at him, made your blood run cold. Even today, the western woods is a haunted place where brave men will not venture. We have murders in New York without benefit of ghouls and goblins. You're a long way from New York, Constable. Is everyone in this village enthralled to superstition? We have many things to talk about, even in this backward place. Excuse my manner. I'm not used to. Female company? Murder! The Osmonds killed again! The assassin is a man of flesh and blood, and I will discover him. Are you so certain of everything? Perhaps there's a bit of a witch in you, Katrina. Why do you say that? Because you've bewitched me. Yes, Sleepy Hollow, because you like that one? Yes. Yes, I thought you would. It is a favorite of mine as well, because you got to love some Tim Burton, you got to love some Johnny Depp, and you got to love some Christina Ricci. Yeah, oh, that yeah. thing is hot, though. <laughs> yeah, well, 
Yeah, I knew you would like that. Well, you're you're very bewitching yourself, Miss Melly Monster. Yes, you. So it's a get that one's a favorite, right? Lots of gothic romance in that one. Uh, it kind of it's, it's kind of funny because Ichabod kind of doesn't doesn't get his uh, his uh, his his cojones work until later in the film when he starts to kind of confess how he feels about everything. So it's nice. It's it's a it's a good movie, and again, a period piece and uh, super awesome uh, bit of gothic romance. Would you guys agree so far? We're halfway through our mm-hmm. countdown, and it is time for number three. Are you ready for number three, Miss Millie Monster? Yes, mm-hmm. I'm ready. I'm ready, Fred. You're ready. <laughs> Here we go. I hope you're ready out there. Here we go. In the top six uh, gothic romance mo- spooky movies of all time, here's number three. People once believed that when someone dies, a crow carries their soul to the land of the dead. But sometimes, just sometimes, the crow can bring that soul back to put the wrong things right. Yes, here we are. The Crow, because you have to put The Crow in there. Even though it is kind of an action film and kind of a revenge movie, nothing says a gothic romance like coming back from the dead to kill the bastards who offed you and your fiancé. Isn't that right, Miss Noah? Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. that's one of my top favorites right there. It, it is a huge favorite. That I, is I, a yeah. true gothic ro- romance movie right there. I me. believe so, too, and on some of the countdowns that I saw – looking uh, around and and researching this, I didn't see it on any of them. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. So that's crazy. You would think because it, you know, this. Yeah. Well, that's coming from people, I think outside the spooky culture and more mainstream culture. So uh, I don't think they, they look at it the same way, but it really is. I mean, it's all based on James O'Barr's stunning uh, crow comic series. And, and I have it. I have the original series. I own the comics and the graphic novel that it was bundled into after that. And it's like, when I, I was reading those, it's like, man, I mean, you get to that point where he's in one of the comics flashing back on his relationship with his uh, girlfriend, fiance, Shelly. And it just, I mean, it just literally brought me to tears because of the whole storyline and everything. And I don't know, does that, does that ruin my badass cred? I, I really don't give a damn. I, but it was, it's a stunning, stunning piece of artwork and story. And to see it unfold in that movie uh, is really great. And then, and it's so sad that we lost Brandon Lee. He, he, that movie would have made him a major superstar. I know. And, and yeah, well, and, and the report came out like finally a couple of years ago that, you know, it was, it was the, the they did not properly clean the, the, uh, the gun that they were, they put a blank load in it, but it still had had debris from uh, another another load in it, and and, and a, a bullet debris from a fake that was in there, and that's actually what what shot out of it and what shot him and and, and killed him, unfortunately, because he had he had actually signed the movie was going to end differently, and it was he was signed to a three picture deal. So imagine what that would have been if it was him making the sequels. Although Crow the City of Angels was a Pretty, I liked that sequel. It was still, I think it was the closest to the original in, in its tone and seeing uh, Sarah's character grown up and then Iggy Pop in it was, was pretty cool. But there's nothing like the original um, The Crow. And the soundtrack's amazing 
in that movie. Just freaking amazing. So uh, you gotta love the crow, right? Yeah, it's one of my favorites. It is. It is. And what I wanted to show you too, the, um, the crow also uh, stars, um, besides Brandon Lee and, and many others, they had a great cast in that thing. Uh, and then, um, uh, and then Byling plays um, the, the, the big bad's um, like half sister and lover, which is kind of crazy. But uh, I wanted to, this was a good opportunity to show you the picture. I got to meet Byling, and there's a nice picture of the two of us right there. I went to a, cre a screening of The Crow uh, that they were doing, and my friend Tom Kramer hooked me up with this. He was doing photography there, and uh, I got to go meet Byling, which was, uh, she's very lovely, very, very awesome, very nice to meet in person oh, yeah. yeah so there you go i had to drop that in because there is some there's a little i got a little crush on her she's a little gothic romance right there all right so how, <laughs> you, how do you like the countdown so far you i love it are you good with it all right oh yeah I'm we are fine. gonna move on i got a couple more here that was number three we're now moving on to the number two spot are you ready? Yes. All right. Here we go. All right. Uh, and uh, I know it's cold out right now, so sorry. There's snow in this one. Here we go. Edward Scissorhands coming in at number two. What do you think? Love it. Yeah. That movie <laughs> makes me cry every single time <laughs> I watch it. Well, The Crow too, but that yeah. movie, I don't know, just really Well, both of those, very books. emotional. I mean, it's really, it's a beautiful movie. It's a beautiful trailer. Hell, that, that's a nice, that's a nice trailer. Uh, yeah. Vincent Price's last on-screen appearance. I think there was one more a movie he had that came out after this, which was a uh, voiceover. It was a, it was a, a animated film, but this is the last time you saw him on screen. Uh, it's a Tim Burton movie. You got more Johnny Depp. You got someone on a writer. You can't go wrong. That just watching that gives me chills, doesn't it? I mean, yeah. very nice. But here's what I want to know: If it came down to it in a cage match, Edward Scissorhands against Freddy Krueger, who wins? You know, maybe a three-way, a tag team, you throw in Wolverine in there too. Who wins? How does that go? That's a lot of blades. I'm just saying. Any opinions? Edward. Out there? Huh? Edward. Edward? Edward? I don't know. Yeah. Edward's, Edward's good, and he's got a lot of blades, kind of like Wolverine does, because he's got two hands full of blades. 
I hate Freddie though, because he can mess with you in your head and he's just nastier than everyone else. I think Freddie might have an advantage. I don't know. Is that just me? <laughs> <laughs> is that just me, people? Who wins in that cage match? Who wins, huh? Tell me. Tell me in the chat. Let's see. There? There's a bunch of Wolverine and oh, Edward. Yeah, we, yeah, everybody loves Wolverine. It's that Heather hair. agrees with me. Thank you, Heather. There you go. Oh, you, John, she, likes, uh, she likes Edward. Edward for the win. Edward. And Alex oh. said Freddie. Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Somebody else agrees with me because he's just nasty and he will fuck with your head. All right. While you sleep, no less. So he actually, you know, it's funny because you know, Freddie, Freddie in the original, uh, 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 the original Nightmare on Elm Street. I want to say Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, <laughs> so remember that he killed Johnny Depp in that movie, now didn't he? Oh, yes, he did. All right. So, <laughs> I'm just saying, people, you have to, you know, know your film history. That's all. <sighs> so, are we ready for number one? Any, any? I wonder. I wonder if any guys, you guys, know where I'm going with number one. No. Does anybody Money, know? Do you? Do you have a guess, Miss Melly Monster? Have clue. I have a clue. So. You have a clue. Ooh, oh, you do. That's right, because you're in the damn studio. You can see it. <laughs> no, I can't see it. So I'm actually it's like, I can't see it. Maybe I could if I really tried. Well, you're yeah, you're in the chat, so you. I don't think you can see it right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can't see it. But you yeah. know me, and you know you know kind of how my taste runs. And I just I really yeah. love this. I'll talk more about it afterwards. I think I know. Uh, I think I know. I think I know. Can I guess? Yeah. Uh, no, don't guess. Don't give it away. Don't give it away. I'm, let me introduce. We'll talk about it afterwards. Let me introduce <laughs> it. Let me introduce it like this. I have crossed oceans of time to find you. I knew it. <laughs> Here occurred the frightening and shocking history of Prince Dracula and the woman he loved. I have crossed oceans of time to find you. Yeah. Dracul. There's a sinister, darker side to him. I find irresistible. I have never met any man with such a passion for life. He is unlike any man. What are you? Vampires do exist. This one we fight, this one we face. Can take on many forms. He is both young and old. He can appear as mist, as vapor, as the fog. And he can vanish at will. The power of his evil desire has no end. You got to go to him. You got to love him. She is a willing recruit and devoted disciple. She is the devil's concubine. Dagger! Join me in the eternal life. Your salvation is his destruction. No! mistake. He must be stopped. Yes, Brahms, Joker's Dracula. Did you know that? Mm-hmm. 
That's one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, and I didn't see that on, on the other list, too. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? I'm like, and so I, I went right to the top on my list. So, uh, yeah, I love that one. Uh, I mean, Francis Ford Coppola, gorgeous movie, big budget, probably the biggest budget Dracula movie ever, and yes. probably the, the best one to date, I, I think. I mean, I, I mean, all, all, all due respect to Bella in the original, because he was the one that made vampires suave after all, always being portrayed yeah. as gnarly like a Nosferatu and that's how they were considered before that he was the one that made them you know sexy and suave was was Bella and um and, and this movie won three Oscars it uh you know again Winona Ryder you know because she has good taste in ooky spooky and gothic romance so she was in a couple of our movies as was Johnny Depp as was uh Christina Ricci and Tim Burton so there some through and, and big big houses and great black clothing. So there are your through lines on your gothic romance and, and obsessive love, obsessive supernatural love. Uh, but this, yeah, that uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula, just an amazing film. And man, Gary Oldman, you know, plus you've got Gary you know Oldman. Anthony Hopkins and psh, man, Anthony Hopkins, anything he's in, anything that oh, man's God. amazing. I've looked at his TikTok, I mean, Anthony Hopkins is on TikTok. Go look at that. It's quite entertaining. <laughs> I, know, I mean, I really, it's it. weird to see him on TikTok. It's just freaking weird, but uh, highly entertaining. So check him out there. Uh, uh, but Gary Oldman, any man, any actor that can play Sid Vicious, uh, uh, Commissioner Gordon uh, in the in the uh, Dark Knight trilogy, uh, Dracula, and Winston Churchill, and kick ass at all of it, that man is phenomenal. Amazing. And extra cred, he was friends with David Bowie, which gives him special extra points for me. Um, in fact, here is a little, here's a cool little story that, that Gary told after Bowie had ascended back into the stars. Gary, Gary told this story that he and Bowie walking through New York City, down the streets, they're stopped at a crosswalk, ready to cross the street, and a fan runs up to Bowie, and who wouldn't, right? And, and asks him for an autograph. And Bowie obliges him, he gives him the autograph, and sends him away. And Gary turns to him and says, you know, it says to David, he goes, oh, that was, that was very nice of you to do that and not just shoo him away. And, and, and David said, well, he might not think so later. I signed Gary Oldman. <laughs> so Bowie signed Gary Oldman's name on, uh, on that guy's uh, autograph. So pretty cool <laughs> nonetheless. Yeah. I mean, now what you need is the guy you need Gary Oldman signing David Bowie. And then he would, you know, need to like package that all together, like frame it all. Anyway. Um, great story. And Gary Oldman, dude. Yes. Uh, so what do you guys think of my top six Gothic romance uh, movies of all time? Uh, how different was yours be? What else would you put in that I didn't put in that's maybe a favorite of yours that I, I could have gone on for days. I had to cut it off at some point. Um, but there are, are there were a, a bunch of other ones and other ones that I, I thought were fringe and still good, but close enough and had enough romance in them. But those are the ones those are the six that I chose. So uh, tell me down in the chat, what else, what did I miss? Uh, what would you, you know, uh, put on your list? I'd love to know what's on your Gothic romance list. And are you Heather, into Gothic romance? What's your idea of Gothic romance? We, we dip you in, in, in a tub of uh, liquid chocolate and roses and stuff. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's just me because I'm kinky like that. So. <laughs> <laughs> So what do we got in the chat there, Miss Mary Monster? Heather says, oh, my God, yes, Dracula. Dracula. Because you got to have some vampires. I give good vampire myself. I, I play Dracula. I don't know how many of you guys know this. Some of you know this. I don't talk about it all the time. I'm in a movie called Dracula's Orgy of the Damned. I know it sounds like porn. It would have been more fun if it was. Um uh, it, it, it was, you know, it was it basically kind of pornish. <laughs> it, it well, it, I did. I am proud because I brought the orgy to the orgy of the dam. I'm just saying, thank you for that. Thank you're you. You're very for welcome. That. It, it kind of saves the movie, I think. <laughs> Deeply, thank you for that. Yes, you're you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank yeah. You. Uh, thankfully, it's very hard to find. So that's that's good. You know, the, the director is very nice, nice guy. <laughs> He meant, he meant well, but, it, it, you know, he made it with pocket change and lint, and you cannot make that it. That one part of the movie just didn't make no bit of sense. I'm like, what the yeah. hell is this? Okay. But, but, but anyway, yeah. all your parts were amazing, though. Well, like, thank you. None, none of the reviews were kind to any of us in the movie, really, so uh, it's okay. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so, I, so I got to play Dracula. That was my point. Uh, anyway, so what you – I love the vampires. Um what do you guys think? What what else would you have put on the list? Uh, give us uh, some suggestions. What we, what are you finding in there? 
Kevin yes. said that uh, Kevin said that Bonnie and I love Sweeney Todd. Yes, that's good. Yeah, you know that is that is a really twisted romance film. But you got romance from from the, the young set in there. You know his 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 daughter and everything. And then you've got romance with with uh, Sweeney and Mrs. Lovett, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, I would agree. Uh, I I could I'm I'll probably come out with my my favorite Tim Burton movies, but aren't they all our favorite Tim? Aren't they all pretty? I don't know. I guess his Planet of the Apes remake wasn't one of my favorites, but uh, I've got so many favorite movies that are Tim Burton. I would love to work in, in, with Tim Burton in, in a movie. Even if it was a walk-on in one line, I would love to be in a Tim Burton movie. That would be Everybody forgives uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, too, though. I love that one. That is kind of a love story, isn't it? Not yeah. a love story. It's just no? it's just more uh, isn't there Tim a little, Burton. Isn't there a little crush on somebody in there? Isn't that part of it? Yeah, I'm um, Dottie. Dottie. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's kind of right. crushed, yeah, I guess, you know, yeah. I like that. I mean, and Beetlejuice is a favorite too. And that there's there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of gothic romance in Beetlejuice. I mean, it's about yeah. a young couple that, that died on the Winter River Bridge and then come back to haunt their old home, you know, uh, uh, you know. And again, more Winona Ryder, so you can't go wrong. More Tim Burton. So, but I, I'll yeah. have to do a whole I'll have to do a whole best of you know best of Ookie Spooky Tim Burton because you know, I love all that stuff. I love um freaking Ed Wood. Ugh. It's it's kind of a, a sleeper for him, but what an excellent movie that is too. Um, so anyway, so Nightmare what would you guys do? Before Christmas with Sally. Yeah, well, yes, yeah, that could have been because Jack and Sally. That is that is definitely uh, some gothic, very gothic yeah. romance. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So what do you guys think in the chat? Is there any? What are your suggestions in there? Let's see. Um, what time are they saying, Miss? Man. Oh, Shelby said Batman Returns. Yes. Yeah. Michelle Pfeiffer. Yeah, that Batman and what Catwoman is? thing. Oh, hell yeah. You know, any woman and it looks like that and skin tied vinyl and a whip is good with me. So uh, let me Pfeiffer get my let me get my Batman hot. costume on. Yeah. Uh, mm. I'm Batman. Michelle Pfeiffer is yummy. She yeah, that yeah, she's pretty amazing. And she's great. I think I think she is still the quintessential Catwoman so far. I haven't seen them cast or write oh, yeah. anywhere oh, near yeah. that good. Yeah, I but know. I, just like, I like the I like the the world that Tim Burton set Batman in. It's it's kind mm. of alternate universe, but you know you know it, its own kind of world, but yet close enough to our world so you can relate to it. And it's just his world is off enough that makes that makes Batman and Gotham really fun. I think so. I wanted to see him do do more of them. Um, I, you know, and then and Michael Keaton, I still, one of my, one of my favorite, I think he and Christian Bale, the, my, my top two Batman, Batman, Michael Keaton's my Michael favorite. Keaton. Batman's amazing too. That dude can do anything. He can do drama. He can make you laugh. I mean, that, and from that, I mean, think about it. When it came out the year before he did Beetlejuice and then the next year he was Batman and, and a megastar. Uh, <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Wow. Yeah. 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 So. <laughs> Let's see. What do we? What all? Uh, we got any uh, any other additions to the? <gasps> yes, Ariana, Phantom of the Opera, baby. That's right. That is right. Oh, Phantom. Yes. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Christine. Yeah. Christine mm -hmm. and the. Phantom. And yep. the Phantom. Absolutely, I would absolutely yeah. agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Maybe we'll do a musical, a countdown of spooky musicals, because that that and Sweeney Todd. That's that's a double feature night right there. You can just OD on all that. Great music and and uh, and you know and storytelling right there. That's some pretty cool stuff. Attend the tale of Sweeney Todd. His skin was pale. His eye was on. Lily says, "Half Light is a is a great Gothic romance." Half Light. Half Light. Know. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check that out. Thank you. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. and... I'm not with that one. Who's in that one? Tell us who's in there in the chat. And who else? What do we who's, got? who's in it, Lily? Um, oh, uh, Ariana s said uh, interview with a vampire. Yes. Yeah. I do like that one a lot, too. I do like that one a lot. I mean. I have a, Willow I, I have said that. With, yeah. 
Willow said Big Fish is my favorite Tim Burton film. Is it really that? That's a cool outside of the box kind of choice. I don't hear a lot of people talk about Big Fish. In fact, I want to revisit it and watch. I haven't seen it uh, for a long, long time, and I'd, I'd love to watch it again. I think some of his stuff, oh. when you watch it years later, you have a, a whole different appreciation of it. Like like many different films and books and things, when you revisit them later, uh, the, you know, uh, depending on what you've been through and the filter you have at the time when you look at them again, uh, you know, it's uh, it, it can bring a lot more to it. So, yeah, Big Fish. Very cool. And Cecilia said From Hell. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a great movie. That's in my collection, too. Yeah. More Johnny Depp. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lily said uh, it didn't mean more. Oh, Demi Moore's in Half Light? Cool. Yeah. I can, I can handle a lot of Demi Moore. Yeah, yeah. When did that come out? You know, most of the, you know, it's funny. It's like most of those movies on the list, uh, five out of the six all came from the 90s, which I thought was kind of weird. It was like, that's interesting that it was like all of that. I don't know if it was a vibe at the time and with filmmakers, but, you know, or maybe it's just a vibe with me because those are the ones I chose. Maybe it says more about my choices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Could be. Could be. Because I'm a weird dude. So. Yeah, I like uh, I I like all the choices that you picked. Very very good, very good. Yeah. All right, so you guys want a little more um, dark, sticky fun? Uh, I've got another illusion for you too that uh, definitely uh, calls up some gothic romance. It's a live performance of mine that I thought I would roll in for you now. Yeah, you get all all the women's gushy in the panties. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they used to send them to me. We had a PO box when we had the cable TV show, and 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 women would send me things like that. They would send me <laughs> cigarettes and condoms and all kinds of weird crap. They used to mail. And then they Marty. They used to send us all kinds of a weird shit in the PO box. And I, uh, but I always loved it when we um, got stuff like that. I would have, I would have uh, blew them up and put water or put it in them and throw them at people. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's fun to do it. Mardi Gras. Uh, yeah. That is crazy stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm trying to fill them up with water when they're lubricated because, yeah, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yes. All right. That's what we're going to do. We'll put that on our list of top kinky films next time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, romance. I know yeah. what my favorite one is. Can I say Rich. it? Yes, go ahead. The story of O. Thanks to uh, you. Yes, I knew it. Well, that movie awesome. is. Oh my god! Yeah, it is. Uh, that's quite something. I think I could actually show the trailer. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you can. You can. I don't, I don't. I don't have it in here right now. But in a in a future, in a future, uh, um, you know, live stream will. Uh, We'll bring up uh, the, the uh, story a based, based on a French novel. Based on a French novel. Yes. Ooh la la, Hunky Dory, make me spit nickels. Yes. He's, he's good. Give me my popcorn. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so here's a little more, a little uh, a little gothic romance of a different kind. Uh, <laughs> me live on stage with the castle illusion. So check this out. Here we go. Creeps find a new place from day to day to the last syllables of recorded time, and all our yesterdays have whited fools our way to dusty death. Out, out, brief candle. Life has been a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage, and then is heard no more. Tis a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. <laughs>
There we go. A little tainted love and the castle live for a live audience. There you go. That counts as gothic romance, doesn't it? Yep. That was yeah. awesome. Thank you. Uh, that's one of my favorite ones. It's been in the show a very long time. I built that illusion myself. So, uh, I, I yeah, it's uh, very fun. I like the music. And uh, so I hope you guys have enjoyed that out in our cyber audience. Yes. How are you guys doing out there? A bunch of sticky fun out there. Dark, sticky fun, everybody. Speaking of dark, sticky fun, I need a drink. Mm. Visit the store. You can also hit us on, um, since I'm not doing any live performances like that right now, you can always uh, support me, support the channel, and Dark Sticky Fun, uh, paypal.me forward slash Fitzgerald's Realm. That's paypal.me forward slash Fitzgerald's Realm. Uh, and you can uh, go there and donate anything you'd like. There's no ticket price or anything. I'm going to do a, an actual, you know, uh, a ticket price show, like like a show that everybody has to pay to get into uh, next month sometime. I'm going to do like an actual performance and then and then a Q&A afterwards. And it, but it's going to be an actual show show that I'm going to do and bring to you. And and it'll have a, a ticket price on it, be behind a paywall. It's different than these. These I'd like to just come out and hang with you guys. But that one, I actually uh, want to do a show. And because uh, Got to keep uh, keep things pumping and uh, sell a few tickets and a little merch now and then to uh, <laughs> keep the realm open. So anything you want to do or just go buy some merch. I, I always appreciate that. Go watch Dark Realm or you can get the Dark Realm DVD on my website. All right. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, speaking of rich, Dark Realm again. Where are you? Bang right there. I'm gonna give away some dark room right now. Let me put the graphic up for you guys so you can see it. I'm gonna give away a copy of the Dark Realm movie soundtrack. Right now, Realm by House Made of Dawn, 17 tracks of complete awesome music. Tracks from the movie and uh, uh, score tracks from the movie as well. All done by House Made of Dawn. So what I'm gonna do, can you guys, um, usually I have you typing something in there and I'll have you type something, but I was thinking it might be fun. Can, do you guys all have the capability? I don't, I don't know if it's just iPhone or if you have emojis. Can you do hearts? But it's gotta be a black one. No other hearts, no other colors, black hearts. Can you do those? Just let me know in the chat if you can, if you're able to put those in there. Cause we're gonna, I'm gonna give you a certain number and uh, we'll have a number and whatever that number is, as long as we've got uh, black hearts in it, that'll be the win. That'll be the that'll be the thing to, to type in to win. But can everybody do it? I'm not going to do it if everybody doesn't have the capability to do emojis in there. Only well, see one for now. One for now. All right. Well, we'll have them type in. How about we just two, huh? three? Oh. Okay, we've got them. Are they black? Are they hearts? Are they black ones? Yeah, they're, they're okay. all black. Very good. So, uh, stop and what number? What number? What number, Miss Naughty? Miss Melly Monster, what number do you think? Is 13 good? Yeah, 13. 13 all right. is my favorite. Number part. starting from now, starting from right now, the 13th black heart or row of black hearts, but they've all got to be black hearts because that's gothic romance. So the 13th comment with black hearts in it wins uh, the soundtrack realm by House Made of Dawn. Music from and inspired by Dark Realm, the Dark Realm movie available on Amazon Prime and on DVD on my website. And you can also get, if you don't win this, you can also get the, the soundtrack was available on uh, CD Baby, on Amazon, on Spotify, on uh, all your music platforms you can get. Uh, Realm by House Made of Dawn. And you can get other uh, House Made of Dawn. There are other albums out there too. So don't forget to go check them out and um, consume their delicious uh, gothy industrial music. How are we doing? Do we have 13 yet? 
There's a lot coming. <laughs> there's all right now. There's a, a ton of them coming in, huh? You're counting, you can see them. You go on down there and you find the one that works. I think number 13. Wow, like there's so many coming in now. It's like going fast. I love it. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Going Thank super, you. super fast now. <laughs> that is crazy. Do we need to do we need to restart or something? Can you count uh, which is the 13? No, I don't want to restart. <laughs> you don't want to restart? No, wait, wait, right. wait, no, no, I thought you meant them to restart. I'm like, wait That's a minute. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. So, so you can get an even count. Otherwise, just count from the beginning it's, when they start to appear. Eight, nine, and somebody will win. Realm. I will. What I'll do is so you get it quicker, I'll message this to you. I will simply take the, the download card and I'll uh, take uh, take a, a photo of it, an image of it, and I'll send you both sides, but I will scratch it for you. It's got a little scratcher on the back and I'll scratch it to reveal the, col the code. And I'll also, as long as I can see it clearly, I will also, you know, either either enlarge it and send it uh, or I will type it in underneath the card, but you'll get both sides of the card. And I'll just, I'll just mail it to you, email it to you or message it to you that way. Cause that way you get it immediately. Otherwise things have to go out in the mail and everything and the mail is still pretty jacked up. So you'll have this and you can just go take that code, go to CD baby and download it right from there. And leave a nice okay. review for House Made of Dawn while you're there. Uh, leave a uh -oh. review and tell them how awesome their music is on the platform. So other people know how much you love it. Do we have a dinner? It, hold on, I, I gotta recount it because it keeps like changing. That, uh, yeah, I know it keeps One, moving. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It's Willow. Willow, congratulations, Willow! You mm -hmm. win the uh, realm. You know the Dark Realm soundtrack by House Made of Dawn. Can you see am I getting up there? It's up there, right there, right there, right there. Maybe I should... Yes. Are you excited? That's good. And let me know um, how you would like me to message you. I can email it to you or I can just, you know, uh, get it to you in Messenger. You you uh, direct mess, DM me and let me know how you want to do that. And if it's okay, then I'll just, I can take the picture and just send them right in the DM. But if you'd rather I, I, I send them to you in an email, I can do that too. That is fine. And, and, I, and since I'm talking about email, for all of you uh, that are on there and watch, if you're not on my Inner Magic Circle uh, email list, it's a special magic circle of all of us inside Dark and Sticky People where you get uh, notifications on things and you get to know what's going on. And I'll send you a link to, links to things of what's going on in the media and uh, on social and on the what's going up new on the YouTube channel. And, um, and, and also you get special exclusive discounts on merch and things like that. So... Please join the uh, the uh, Inner Magic Circle email list, and you can do that. There is the the blue sign up button on my Facebook page on Ron Fitzgerald's Realm. Some of you are there already. That's where you're watching this, uh, but it has been shared out. So, and you can share it out if you haven't yet. You can share it out, and other people can watch it on the replay because uh, we're about done. And then um, you can also sign up on my email list, which are my website, FitzgeraldsRealm.com. That's FitzgeraldRealm.com. You can also go into the store. That's where you can get the Dark Realm DVD. Uh, but you can sign up on the email list there. And you can also sign up uh, when you go uh, later in this in the description and uh, in any of the videos on my YouTube channel. You can go down in the description and there is a link where to sign up for the uh, Fitzgerald's Realm Inner Magic Circle you know, list. So you can be one of the cool, dark, sticky kids and be on the inside of all the stuff that we're going. And, and, and I totally appreciate it. It's uh, I appreciate the support and I appreciate people joining. So go in and hit the email list and I'll be, uh, and, and, and actually you'll, you'll get a track that's not on the soundtrack. You'll get a free cut of a uh, house made of dawn. It's a special, it's dark and sticky sweet, which is on the soundtrack, but you get a special remix of dark sticky sweet with uh, that. That's done. It's the realm Lord remix because I put in, um, all kinds of sound drops and uh, dialogue from the movie in there. And it's very fun. It's very cool. And the only place you can get it is by signing up uh, for the email list. So if you want that, in, in addition to your, uh, you know, Dark Realm movie soundtrack, Willow, and anyone else, go get that special track 
when you go sign up on my email list. Like I said, on Facebook, sign up uh, on YouTube in the description of any of the videos as, as well as on my website, FitzgeraldRealm.com. All right, so Willow, I will get this to you. You DM me and let me know uh, how I can, you, you prefer me to send that to you and I'm just gonna photograph it and send it and you'll have it immediately. You can go download it and start enjoying House Made of Dawn. All right, very good. Thank you everybody for joining. Uh, any questions, any last questions out in the chat? We're gonna do a few more questions and then I'm gonna wrap this up. Cause I'm always thinking these things are gonna be like an hour long and they're always turn out to be like 90 minutes long or longer. As long as you guys are having fun, I'm, I'm great with it. I, I love hanging out with you because like I said, there's, you know, there's no live shows for me at all right now because you know, we're all in, in the world of weird at the moment and that's fine. That's why I'm bringing you entertainment and dark sticky fun live stream style and we'll continue to do this afterwards but it's it's certainly great to have this and be able to hang with you guys and i and i and thank you so much i love you all for coming in and hanging and spending your your free time and everything i mean you could be binging netflix or doing a lot of other things so that, that I, I believe me i appreciate that you want to come and hang here uh with with me and miss la monster over here uh tonight and uh thank you i appreciate it even if you're watching the replay Thank you for watching the replay, especially you got it to this point and you got to the end of the replay. Freaking thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, so tell me what you liked in the show or ask me a question, anything like that. Whatever's coming through, Miss Melee Monster, what what have we got? And congratulations again, Willow. Thank you for, uh, for jumping in. And everybody else for trying to win. Come back later. There's more prizes. I, I'm always giving out, out something because I want you guys to have <laughs> my cool stuff. All right. Dark sticky um, fun for Brian, everyone. Brian, Brian K. Morris, I uh, wanted to let you know that he shared your, um, you know, your show for tonight. Thank you, Brian. You are awesome. I love you, my friend. Brian does a live stream like, I, I don't know, what are you up to, like five or six a day? He, he's on there all the time, and I'm popping in and kind of watching him in the darkness, and sometimes I'll say hi, sometimes I'm in, I'm in and out. But he's on YouTube. He has a great YouTube channel. Uh, Never mind the furthermore is, is uh, one show, and then Clever Title Pending is another one. Go back and watch the show. It's archived on, on his channel. It's in my interview playlist, but it's on his channel, uh, where I dressed up like Brian K. Morris for, for Halloween. Uh, so I'm, I, it's like Brian and Brian interviewing each other. It's very fun, but I, I appeared on, um, on his show. So go check that out on his YouTube channel, subscribe, like, give the algorithm a stinky pinky because it's kinky like that. Isn't it Brian? Yeah, he knows, he knows, but thank you, Brian. Yeah, Brian, uh, taught me a lot about using the platform and, uh, getting my live stream groove on. So thank you, my friend. Uh, and that's, uh, Brian K. Morris, Rising Tide publications on on youtube he's also on the evil book of face but the youtube channel is where he's doing uh, a massive amount like daily live streams and he's got lots of cool artists on there and uh and i i, I love you brother and and i always appreciate when you bring me on you have to bring me on again sometime so i can go on and be me and you can interview me instead of interviewing yourself or somebody that looks like you your evil doppelganger Dop doppelganger there i need more water Maybe it would help a little vodka. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Molly course, says hi. Who says hi? Molly. Molly? Molly. Molly Marie. Hello, Molly. How is the pooch? <laughs> How is Molly? Molly. <laughs> Molly, 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 Molly. Molly. Hi, Molly. Puppy. <laughs> yeah, that's you. That's not Molly. You should do your demon voice coming out of Molly. That would be fun. Come on, make the demon voice. Make the Molly, great Molly, Molly, Molly the demon, demon voice. voice? No. She's a yeah. sweet girl. Oh, no. You know she does. She, she, she talks like that. She's like, I'm going to kill you and eat your face in your sleep. Mm -hmm. Like, get out, my, get out of my face, you crazy woman. Ah. <laughs> All right. So any, any last questions coming through the chat? Before we wrap Molly. on out of here, everybody likes the dog. <laughs> oh, they love Molly, of course. It's like when, uh, when, when, Alicia, when Alicia was on with Elvira on our, on the Halloween show. Everybody loved Elvira. So, yeah, Elvira's cool. Yes, like Molly Marie. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Shelby says, have a dark, sticky night, Ron and Melly. You have a dark, sticky night, Shelby. Kevin I'll be talking said, to you soon thanks, about the Ron. Who said that? Kevin. Kevin, said, thank, thank you, Kevin. And Heather said, I like the movie less. I think I need to rewatch a few tomorrow. Yeah, thank you. I, I feel, you know, as I was going through that, I'm going, I'm going to have to rewatch all of these, you know? Like, and Ariana said, uh, oh, cute puppy. Hi, hi, Molly. Molly, Molly. She Molly. says, hi. The internet loves you, Molly. Mm -hmm. Look, Molly. Say thank you, Molly. Say thank you. Thank you. She's <laughs> on my face, you crazy woman. <laughs> See if you, you put a little put a little bacon grease on the screen, she'll come up and lick everybody's face. <laughs> oh yeah, she loves her bacon. Uh yes. I think unless you're a vegan, you do love your bacon. And if you're a vegan, then you love <laughs> vegan bacon because you know you can't really go without that. <laughs> bacon flavor. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Vegan bacon. Hello, everybody. Well, that's right. They have vegan leather. They're going to have vegan bacon, can't they? Is anybody a vegan? <laughs> I'm sure somebody is. They tell, tell me they have vegan bacon. I'm sure they do. They have vegan cheese. They have vegan everything. They do have vegan bacon. I thought so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Thank you again, everybody. Any, any, last, any last questions? Any last famous words out there? Oh, that was too funny. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. M. Willis said, the hunger for the list. Yeah, I thought about that, too. Yes, absolutely. The hunger. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, talk about uh, tragic gothic romance. I mean, it doesn't turn out for well for Bowie's character, <laughs> that one, does it? Uh, or a lot of her <laughs> other uh, former lovers who are all, you know, up in the attic in that decrepit state. But uh, I'm going to have to do, uh, like, my top vampire uh, movie list and i'm gonna do that one and believe me the hunger will be on that list because Yay. yeah i mean bowie susan sarandon catherine deneuve and and a, and a just a lush gorgeous freaking movie um uh, with another great soundtrack you've got you i mean great it opens up with peter murphy and Bauhaus and bella lugosi dead i mean you got that, that uh, yeah that's huge on my my list uh especially of of vampire movies so expect that in the near future. There'll be like a whole vampire show because I give a good vampire. Ah. <laughs> but excellent suggestion. Yeah, I love The Hunger. I freaking love it. It's in my collection as well. Mm. Hmm? Hmm? Do, uh, do your English accent again. Oh, you want, you want the English accent? Hello, everybody. We're going to go on a little romp throughout time and space, right through those doors. Everything that's ever been there, I've ever been Anyways, like we were doing, we were doing this before. I was like, well, do you see me as the job or do you see me as the master? Actually, Marty said, uh, when he messaged me afterwards, he says, you should play both roles. You should play them dual roles where they both regenerate into the same, into the same, uh, this, that would uh, be cool. The same. They haven't done it that yet. That would be cool. <laughs> that would be cool. BBC, if you're listening, Hello, I'm the doctor, and I'm the master. Come, come, give me, give me a ring. You know, it's a big internet. Get, get a hold of me. You know how to find me. Just Google me, BBC. Come on. Now. <laughs> actually, I have. You know, so actually, uh, somebody started a uh, a Ron Fitzgerald for the next Doctor Who uh, Facebook page, and it's on there. If you want to go look for it and find it, if you want to go like that, there's some fun stuff. I share a lot of the the, the Doctor Who stuff through there but i've got some of my own pictures of me and the, the tatas and whatnot on the doctor page. so if you'd like to do that or maybe i should just make my own gothic romance movie with vampires and an english accent do you like I, the english think accent? You know. I know you like it because it you know makes you all yeah i know you like it you like it quite a bit and i like it quite a bit <laughs> I've actually been out on dates in the past where, where, where they wanted me to like speak in the English accent all night long, and I did. I know why. Yes, because it makes you all crazy. There's something about an English accent, especially with American women, that makes them all crazy and frothy. 
they they like it. It ramps up the style points. I, I'll say that. You know, we have a lot of accents here in America. I know we don't think about it quite that way because we hear it all the time. And maybe we don't think about it. There's regional accents and everything. Here, uh, mm -hmm. uh, even the English accent changes regionally in in uh, in England. But um, there's something about an English accent in American women that drives them. Yeah. If you like that sort of thing. And, and I'm I, a fool and, for and, it. Yes. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, I probably, probably should have played my vampire, my, my Dracula, with, with an English accent. I don't know. He has more of a that would have been awesome. Accent. Well, Eastern that European. Would've... Yeah. Mm -hmm. It could be. But yeah. It's, uh, there's, a, there's a very fun, um, logo, which I was researching for this, but it wasn't quite right for, right for the Gothic romance uh, you know, uh, countdown. But on my vampire countdown, it's certainly something else called Razor Blade Smile. Uh, with Eileen Daly stars in that, and oh man, yes, it's 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 an English English uh, vampire film, and damn, it's it's good. It, it you know it's kind of indie, but it made it to the big screens, and it's you'll razor blade smile if you find it, enjoy it. You'll 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 like it. You'd like it. You like it. You miss Miss Melly Monster, Miss Naughty. All right. So what do you think out there in the chat? I could do an entire show of uh, just, you know, English horror and do the whole thing in an English accent. I hope we could just talk about Doctor Who all night and then I have Brian K. Morris write the story. <laughs> because Brian is also the writer of A Haunting Tales of Bachelors Grove, the, the comic book that I am in. He wrote, uh, and uh, Kajerosha Ona, who's awesome, is in it, uh, Queen of the Paranormal. We are the two people that are uh, real people that are featured in Haunting Tales of Bachelors Grove. And a and, uh, big shout out and a thank you to uh, K.O. Kadrosha Ona uh, for uh, getting me a, a feature in Fame Magazine. And if you haven't seen that, it's, uh, it's floating through my, my social on Facebook and the evil Twitter right now. And uh, check that out. Lots of links to lots of stuff and a great, a great write up and some nice photos all by Doc Arts, you know, celebrated dark arts photographer Jim Sawfleet, SNS photo. All right. So, what do we think? English accent? No English accent? Any any comments in the chat? Has everyone left? Is it crickets? Is it uh, nothing but? It's, I see. <laughs> I see I, thumbs up. I or are you hell giving yeah. Up? Oh, hell yeah. Who said hell yeah? Who lost? I did. Saying, <laughs> you did. Well, that's you. It's just you. Forget the chat. We don't care what anybody else thinks. We just want to do. <laughs> we just want a bit of English accent itself because it makes you all crazy and frothy. <laughs> You're welcome. It's all good. It's all very good. Yes. I'll come right on over and reverse the polarity of your neutron flow. And then, then I tell you. <laughs> yes, you are. Ah, yes. mm -hmm. <laughs> Willow's an, a movie premiere and illusionist falls for an unknown audience member who shows up to all of his shows only to find out she she doesn't really exist. Mm, like a ghost story? Oh. Yeah, I, like I guess. And then I Alex Raven said, I, I still want to see you in both Doctor and Master Yummy. Yeah, I thought that was interesting when you said, yeah, just do both. I thought that was, I'm like, well, that, they've never done that on the show. That um that would be interesting. Although I always want them to bring back Michelle Gomez because that's <laughs> Oh man, that woman. Yes. And she's great in uh, the chilling tales of Sabrina. I mean, she just gives good upscale evil, upscale gothy evil, upscale uh sinister. She's great at that. And I would you know I'd like to trade lines with that woman. She's amazing. No. Anything else? Should we wrap this thing up? Should we take it out back and put a stake See in you it? Then. See you soon. See you soon. Frothy like a cappuccino. Frothy as in a cappuccino in your panties. Yes. Can I say <laughs> it on the internet? I just did. Because that's she is what hot from coal. <laughs> that's what, yeah, that's what, that's what Miss Melly Monster means. Why would she say frothy? <laughs> yes. Yes. Willow said like a ghost story. Exactly. Yes. Ghost stories. I like ghost stories. I don't have enough. Mm -hmm. That's why um, Crimson Peak was on the list, because it's a good ghost story. Mm -hmm. And Tom. Mm -hmm. and... <sighs> mm -hmm. 
Mm. Yes. <laughs> more, more, more fabulous fun. So, yeah. anything else? Anything you guys like to add? Any questions? Anything? Otherwise, we're going to wrap this up and let you go about your binge watching uh, everything from a uh, top six gothic romance movie list. Mm. Mm. Cecilia said, "From hell." From hell. For the Cecilia, movie thank you for joining us tonight, Cecilia. She does. She is a, a great actress and everything as well. She's got a great look. She's a very, very vampire. Have you done vampire roles, Cecilia? She's awesome. So, and thank you for showing up tonight. We were we were chatting on um on Instagram the uh, the other night, and I awesome. Uh, she's very body. pretty too. She is. She's gorgeous. So, I uh, thank you for coming to hang with us. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. But she certainly has a look, you know, um, that could be very vampire as well. I haven't, I don't know if I've seen any pictures of you and Fangs, but I'd love to see that. It would be lovely. Lovely. Mm -hmm. She said trying to add from, from hell to the great list. Yes. Yeah, definitely. It's in, it's in my collection. I, I, I love that movie. It's very good. And, and there's like, like Dark, Dark Realm, there is a, there's an absence scene in there. Actually, they touch on it a couple of times. He's uh, uh, Johnny Depp's character is drinking absinthe with laudanum in it and um, kind of really whacking himself out on that as he's uh, chasing down the Ripper. And that, damn, that's a, that is a good movie. Makes me want a bit of absinthe right now. Come join me. We'll have absinthe, everyone. <laughs> 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 as, as long as they're uh, a hot Asian with uh, sushi all over her body, I'm in. Woo! Uh, I'll, 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 call, I'll call by Ling and see if she'll come over for absinthe. <laughs> Please do! Oh, my Maybe. God. Yeah. Cecilia. <laughs> yeah. yeah. uh, said you're welcome i've been online and then she also said thank you so much you're so cute as well well for me or you me yes thank you thank you thank you and i'm so glad you came to to hang out with us and everybody all of you i mean really everybody uh thanks for hanging out and i hope you enjoyed the show please put it down in the in the comments in the i mean you're already in the chat and everything but if you're on um YouTube as well. Make sure you uh, you know put it down in the comments. Let me know what you like about the show uh, and and either either place we've syndicated it to, and um, let me know what you like best in the show, and um, we'll make sure you get more of it. More dark, sticky fun just for you. <laughs> it is my mission to spread dark, sticky fun for all of us around the globe using this internet thing. And do you want to see more Voodoo Baby? I already saw a comment earlier about where's Voodoo Baby. Yes, know. Voodoo Baby. Oh, well, well, he'll be back on in the next one. He'll be back on. I, I'm, I'm sure he could have he could have had uh, some great com commentary about Gothic romance, but uh, uh, we were we were full up. Clearly, it's, it's been a, it's been a rather long show already. So, uh, Alex said, "I'm going back to my TARDIS and drink more wine." And then he says, "You both are lovely." Lovely. Right. Excellent. Enjoy and happy birthday once again. Enjoy whatever you're doing. I hope you're, you know, having something you shouldn't eat and uh, some wine with it. <laughs> and enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. That goes for Shay as well. If Shay's in here tonight, Shay, happy birthday once again. And Mr. Vinny, wherever the hell you are down in Florida, uh, happy birthday, my good friend. All right, so that's it. We're going to sign out here. Uh, Willow, remember to DM me, and um, I'll get you your Dark Realm movie soundtrack by House Mid of Dawn. And uh, so signing off now, any, any final any final thoughts? Anything? Uh, um, lovely Miss Billy Monster. Alex says thank you. My pleasure, my friend. My pleasure. Thank you for joining us. And Ari slash Jasmine says we want more Melly. And of course we do. That's why I put her on to me tonight. And Willow said, have a great night. Looking forward to watching more shows. Chat with you all soon. Yes, we will see you soon, Willow. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Mm -hmm. I hear Molly shaking her booty. Yep. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. I know that sound. <laughs> she's oh. hilarious. I like it when she like gets on the floor and she shakes her butt. Like, yeah, baby. She's a good yeah. beastie. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's a sweetheart. Yes. Mm-hmm. She loves you. Oh yeah, I love her too. She's amazing. Well, you went and rescued. Ah! You hear? Yeah, oh. he agrees. She, she's like, I know who rescued me from from Poppy Prison. She's she yeah. talking to me. She talks to me. Okay, everybody. She likes to talk to me. <laughs> you hear? Her? I heard him. Not right now, but I did. Molly, what? What is it? What? She's either hungry or she's about to pee on the floor. One of those. No. No, she just wants to talk to me. Molly, what's, what's up? She's like... Puppy. <laughs> she, wants, she wants vegan bacon. Give her some vegan bacon. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Everybody, thank you very much for showing up for the um, Gothic Romance show. Hope you enjoyed um, all the docs that you found, the illusions, and uh, top six uh, gothic romance movie countdown uh, for the lovely Miss Millie Monster and myself. Love you. Love you, Alex. Much love and sticky goodness to all of you. We will see you out there on the internet. Love you guys. Much doc sticky love, and uh, we shall see you. It's Master Ron. Love you. I love you too, my dear. You, Miss Melly Monster. You, come on over here and say that. Uh, and I'll give you some vegan bacon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Talking in English accent. Well, I feed it to you. All right, everyone. That's it. We'll see you on the next live stream. All right.